What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a couple plays for the day. Um, I do have a Counter-Strike play and I also have an NBA play. Um, and you can see on the screen here, this is how our performance of our free picks went yesterday. Um, these two on the left here were two of the picks that I gave out on the YouTube video. So we went two for two on the YouTube video, um, which is great. Hopefully a lot of you guys tailed those. Um, you know, as always, if we hit big on the uh, YouTube channel, let me know how much money you won um, in the comments below. So um, hopefully a lot of you guys tailed that going two for two on the YouTube is pretty big. I love going and hitting on the YouTube because um, you know, that's how I, I know a lot of you guys get my picks is, is through my YouTube videos every day and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. And, um, uh, you know, hopefully you guys were able to cash these out. Um, I also sent this out on my free winnable, this play here, Grayson Allen under fantasy score, and then bam, more than assists. Um, I got, um, I believe the bam line on player prop shop. And then I also got, uh, the John Collins line on player prop shop. Unfortunate bam didn't get one more assist. Um, it looked like he had three up in, um, in the fourth quarter and probably had some opportunities. I didn't watch the game, but um, unfortunate he didn't get the assist. Um, like I said, this is what I showed yesterday, right? We used that LeBron line for that um, that reduced LeBron line for him to get uh, over 8.5 points. Um, I realized after I posted that video, he needed nine points to get 40,000 uh, 40, points in his career. So congrats to LeBron. Um, He's the goat in my eyes. So, um, you know, he he definitely hit that pretty easily. Um, and then John Collins, we got from a write-up on uh, the player prop shop. So if you're interested in the player prop shop, I've been using it a lot for my NBA bets. And uh, NBA's NBA has been doing pretty well for us this past couple of days. Um, you know, Counter-Strike, League of Legends, um, that's still our, our bread and butter for a lot of these esports plays that we hit. Um, it's it's kind of had, had a little bit of a rocky couple days, days, but I'm very confident in the esports and that it'll pick back up. Um, obviously, very confident in the correlation. I've seen it before. I've seen how correlated um, these games are, these Counter Strike games, these League of Legends games. Um, and I mean, when we get hot, it's kind of weird that um, it is kind of a streaky thing. I don't know why it would be streaky, but it is kind of streaky for us. Um, you know, sometimes it's just c consistent hitting these two mans uh, for for Counter Strike, and then sometimes it's it's not. Um, and and more often than not, I think we are hitting. Um, but the past two days. Uh, Counter-Strike's been a little bit rough, but the NBA has really picked it up for us. Um, and I, I think in due, in due part with this player prop shop that um, it's kind of a new tool I've been using. If you're interested in the pr uh, player prop shop, then use the code prop shop. It will be in the uh, in my bio or in my pinned comment, and you'll get a free week of the player prop shop if you use my link and use that code prop shop. Um, I do have an NBA play later in this video, so um, I'll also kind of explain the player prop shop in that, and uh, and we're, we're going to use it for, for another one of our picks. Um, if you're interested in more of my plays, like I said, I sent out a free play on my winnable. Um, it was the one that actually unfortunately did not hit, but we came very, very close. It was this one here. Um, I do have a free plan and I do have a VIP plan. Uh, the free plan, you'll get like one to two picks a day. I normally do a lot of um, you know, promos and, and, and then I'll also send out some, uh, some prize picks plays. I know there's a sleeper Sunday on sleeper fantasy. So I'll probably send out a prize picks play in a couple hours to the free plan. And then I'll probably send out my sleeper Sunday pick to the free plan as well. If you use sleeper fantasy, um, just a, a bit of an added benefit, but yeah, you get one to two free plays a day that aren't in these daily YouTube videos. Um, and then for my VIP access, it's, uh, normally 150 a month. And uh, I post a ton of plays. I'm posting, you know, eight, nine, ten plays a day. Do a lot of Counter Strike, a lot of League of Legends, um, esports, um, and then a lot of NBA too, because NBA is every night. So it's kind of hard not to bet on the NBA too. And and we've been doing good the past couple of nights. So, um, like I said, it's normally 150. Uh, but if you use the code free VIP, then you'll get a uh, one month free VIP access so you can try it out. Um, like I said, use code free VIP um, here and you can see it's discounting the amount to 150 bucks. So uh, definitely try it out. I think you're going to love it. Um, I always send out plays and um, on winnable, it's straight to your phone. So um, whenever I send out a play, it goes straight to your text messages and then you can uh, click that link in your text message and it'll pull up my play and you can tail it straight from there. Um, just a link to tail it straight on prize picks. And I'll, I'll sometimes give a little write up. Sometimes I won't just because I'm short on time, but, um, yeah, it's, it's been great. Um, if you're in the VIP, um, you know, it's, it probably saves a, a lot of people a lot of time having to look through find plays and stuff like that. I do a lot of the I, I do all of the research, um, it, you know, with the tools I have odds, jam player prop shop, DFG, uh, fantasy. And then I also have some websites that I use for different esports and stuff like that, looking at, um, different lines and different point totals. So yeah, definitely take advantage of that. 
And uh, let's jump into the first play of the day. So we do have a League of Legends play coming up first. Um, uh, yesterday I gave it a Valorant play. I believe there was some big tournament going on. Um, but today I'm giving out a Counter Strike play. And Valorant and League of Leg- or, sorry, Valorant and Counter Strike are exactly the same um, in, in the ways that they're correlated. Right? They're they're fundamentally the same game. Really, ones you know, ones just made. They're just made by different companies. Um, but they are fundamentally the same game and, and how they work and how um, you know. The, the round system works and how they're correlated. Um, so if you're new here, how Counter-Strike correlation works is we have two players and um, they're uh, playing each other, right? So if I were to put um, two players versus two players, uh, prize picks actually wouldn't allow me. If I tried to make a four man and be like two people on this team Furia and two people on this team complexity, prize picks would actually send out an error and be like, that's too correlated. Um, I don't know if they would say that, but they would say, you know, this isn't allowed. There's too many people on the same um, team and all that. So what you can do is you can do two mans. And <clears throat> what we do here is we do two mans and have them um, on on the opposite teams that are playing each other. So we have uh, these two teams playing each other at 4 p.m. today. And we have them going more and more. The reason why we have them going more and more is how Counter-Strike works and how Valorant works um, that I explained in yesterday's video. Um, it's, it's much more based on the game length, right? So um, how these games work is they're first to 13 rounds. So whoever gets... Uh, 13 rounds first is going to win the game. So that could mean a couple of things, right? That could mean that the game could go um, really long and be a close game and go 13 to 12 or 13 to 11, um, have a high number of rounds, a close game, and one team barely pulls it off in the end where they hit 13 rounds and they end up winning the game and then the game's over. Or one team could blow the other team out of the water, get 13 rounds very, very quickly, and the other team was only able to win, you know, one round, two round, three rounds, right? Which would be a low number of rounds, a low number of total rounds, right? That would only be, uh, you know, 15 rounds, 16 rounds. That would be a, a very small number of rounds and not that many rounds to get kills in because um, in these rounds, that's when the players are facing each other and, and using their strategy to, um, you know, gain kills over the opponent and stuff like that. And this is where these professional players kind of gain gain kills in these games. Um, so if these games, we, we either choose either more or more, or we choose less or less because they are correlated like that. Um, and if the game ends up being a longer match, so it ends up being, you know, a 13 to 12, 13 to 11, um, then uh, it's very likely that both of these are just going to go going to go more um and then if it if if it did end up being a shorter match which in this instance i think it's going to be a longer match but if it did end up being a shorter match then it would be a very high likelihood that both of these would go less and less because there's just not that many total rounds to generate kills right um it doesn't really matter what team is the one that dominates and stuff like that um it's it's a 5v5 every round and there's only five kills really to get every round maximum um so it much more matters the game length and how long the game goes um for these point totals to go over um it's very similar to like in the nfl if one team is blowing the other team out of the water um that team that's blowing the other team out of the water uh normally will just like run the clock out they'll just run the clock out run the ball and um that that a lot of times if you've been betting for a while that's hard to see because um you know you may have a couple receivers on that team or the quarterback on that team and you want to see him get more pass yards or more receiving yards um but that won't happen in the fourth quarter because they're just running the ball running the ball right so um it it, it kind of is like you only really got three quarters of production because they're just running the ball in the fourth quarter um it's kind of the same vibe here where um you know, you want it to go over because you want as as many uh, opportunities and as, as many rounds as possible to generate kills. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I always talk about Counter-Strike. I always talk about Valorant uh, correlation with these two mans. They're our bread and butter. So, um, you know, I'll always be explaining how these work. Second play of the day is going to be this NBA play. Um, you can see we did really well on the NBA yesterday. Um, and we have Isaiah Stewart and we have Trey Jones. Isaiah Stewart, we have more points, or sorry, more rebounds and assists, uh, 7.5. And then we have Trey Jones, uh, PR, PRA going over t- uh, 20.5. Um, I'll let you guys read the write ups. I do have the write ups here, but Player Prop Shop does a great job in explaining. Um, how you know why they take these why they uh they send out these plays and on player prop shop um, i do have a subscription to it um like i said if you did want a subscription to it you can use code prop shop um, but what they do is they send out probably like 12 to 15 write-ups a day of all all of the different props that they like and then you can go in and kind of choose um which ones you like so these are two that i like um i think i think what they have um you know why i use them as a tool is because they do a really really good job in looking at 
their past performance. So you can see that Isaiah Stewart, um, he's hit this line in 14 of his last 20 games. That's obviously pretty good. Um, and then um, considering the Magic give up an average of 8.5 uh, rebounds and assists to opposing centers. Um, that's obviously a, a point of data that I, I maybe ha hadn't known. And then uh, they also do a really good job in um, always saying the matchup, right? So they always talk about who he's going going against or what team he's going against. Um, and, um, you know, it's obviously a good matchup for him. And then same with Trey Jones here. Um, you can see that they're talking about how Trey Jones is normally really efficient. He has very low turnovers a game. Um, he has you know high average for assists. And then also the Pacers play very fast, right? The Pacers play the second fastest pace in the league. Um, so that, that puts the point totals higher because if it's a very fast game, you know, there's a lot of possessions, a lot of drives going. They're not, they're not using the whole shot clock to, uh, to get their points scored. So th that naturally is just going to be a higher scoring game, causing Trey Jones to get higher points, higher rebounds, higher assists, because there's a lot of shots going on and they're not taking the whole, um, the whole, uh, you know, score the, the whole, um, um, score, clock right so um that is why i use player prop shop i wouldn't have known that data um you know the pacers i didn't know that they're the the second fastest pace in the league so i think that's really cool um it's also funny that their name's the pacers but anyway <laughs> you can um definitely take advantage of this free vip code on my vip access and then again use that free plan on winnable because it's a no-brainer to do that like i said i'm sending out um, I normally will send out a, uh, prize picks play and then I'll also send a promo on another app because it's, it's great to get exposed to other apps too. Um, promos are the easiest way to build your bankroll. We see it with taco Tuesday. We see it with flex Friday on prize picks, but there's a ton of other apps that you can use and take advantage of all the promos that they run to try to get people on their app and try to get people to, um, be placing bets and stuff like that. We can take advantage of that and you might as well. Um, and then also, like I said, player prop shop, definitely look to sign up for that. So, um, yeah, here are the two place for the day. Let's have another great day. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you.